831, the market's about to close. I'm featuring the monthly S&P 500 bull run that we've had. And yes, there will be a correction coming. We did make that high at 1426 and some change when we made the calendar high over here. Now I'm going to blow this chart up so that uh, what I am saying is here's a 2007 reversal financial crisis. We've come all the way back up here to the neckline. I have a target on the S&P of 1440. I've already said that before. Okay, we hit that 1426, 1440, 1442 would be the breakout side of one last top being put in before we have that correction. It, but right now, that's the upper end of the S&P, and it has been with us on a monthly level. I'm just going to show that over here where you can see these uh, monthly tops. This was a great bull trend on the S&P. Straight up in the calendar year, straight back down. That's what happens with bull rallies. They got to pull back, and then you got to go back up in bull rallies, and you got to test multi-year highs. That is a bull cycle. That is not a bear cycle. The economic data may be a bear cycle. And all the stuff going around the world may be very bad. But as far as our business right here, this S&P 500, here's 1474 up here. Of course, this is going to be year end. What I am telling people in the shorter term, 1426 is going to be a wall of resistance right here in the 2008 monthly sell off that started right here. So that's where we came up and we hit that and we dropped right down in this monthly bar. Now, we came off of the bottoms here in this S&P straight right back up in the month of August. And we're going in the month of September. I'm going to draw a horizontal trend line right there. That's 1440 on the S&P. That is the top of that wick from that 1426, which was a multi-year calendar 2012 high within the S&P bull trend. I'm telling you, it's going to have such a wall of resistance at 1440. And we're currently overbought, not as much as some of the other indexes are. We're at 87% on a monthly level on the S&P. There will be another bull trend pullback in this whole cycle. There will be another, there will be another pullback my friends and we just closed on the S&P the closing bell the month of August is over the dog days of August are gone everyone's on a holiday weekend I wish them a very good Saturday Sunday and Monday and once again the S&P has had a 2012 bull. It started here at the bottom of the calendar 2012. Parabolically up. We called the reversal. We got the live videos. We said that we were going to get a great correction. Every bull has to have a correction. And every bear has to have a bull rally. So we are at major levels. And I'm just happy to say that we are trying to break a 12-year downtrend that started in year 2000. And we got above the highs up here in 2011. And we were working on it. And then the financial crisis hit. And everyone's been hating it ever since. In the United States, we have a lot of stimuluses that have been working for three or four years. We're long in the tooth, though, because the bull started here in 2009. This is where the new bull started off of the lows. So we've been 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012. We're 36 months into this bull almost. It would be March of uh, 2013. I think this all started when we called the bottoms in late February 2009. And we've gone, this is a bull. Does it matter that it was stimulated? Does it matter? No. As far as Wall Street's concerned, they're walking this stuff right back up where the financial crisis. And if you know how to put it in your favor, you can get these big plays. Remember, it's when people hate the rally. If you look on the news and you've been around, all you've heard is about how much people hate this bull run. Bulls never hate bull runs. They don't like it because they're not in it. And why? It's because of all of the rhetoric all of the headlines, all of the pessimisticness, all of the exuberances as well, everything combined has ran a toll on individual people. 
But I will tell you that rather bull and bear trends are done in high frequency models and there are hardly very few people that are left in the markets except for the bigger professional community people like us that have been around 30 years now and we know what we're doing here we knew when to get short over here we knew when to get long here when it didn't want to break it that is a you got three months to the upside you have two months pull back in three months so out of the full eight calendar months you got six months bull and two months bear and it's not a bear per se it's just a bull has to have a reversal and shake out the buyers and then go higher so out of the t out of the eight month cycle three months up three months up and two months down that's six to two that's why the s p 500 is overbought it will come down again and we'd like to see it come down all the way right above, oh, let's say around 1332, 1325 area right here on this 20-month moving average. And that the bull top of the eighth month, eight months of this calendar 2012, that's a major update. Three up, two down, three months up. That is bull cycle. Thanks to Ben Bernanke's today's speech. We'll be watching exactly what that S&P does. Can it break our numbers at 1426? Can it get to 1440? That's my target on the S&P and has been all year in the very shorter term. Now, if we could pull back down here right around this level of 1300 again, this calendar year, starting September, October, November, and then December, of course, but pull back in this bull and then set up and break up toward 1475 on the s p but we need to shake the bull out again so that we can buy and set up and then go for taking out a 12-year downtrend you have the elections coming up after the election and we people know what's going to happen we're going to see a lot of action in these markets. We encourage you to learn why other people are not in the rally and they hate the rally. They hate it because they're not in it because they don't believe in the economic picture. They don't believe in any of it. Uh, they're all on the sideline. Hedge fund managers, only 11% out of 100 have beat the S&P 500. The other 89% are underperforming. And what I am saying is that those people are on the sideline. When we do get pullbacks, everything will be very pessimistic again. But you see, we are building a great yearly base. We got six months into this base with two-month pullback in six months. That's a good beginning bull base on a yearly level. However, like I said, the year is not over. And we'll be updating you again. But we will tell you that the S&P will have to pull back and to be very cautious if you're long. Sell into resistance. Take your profits now so that when you get this next pullback I'm talking about, you can get in on it and make some big money on that next bull run. 